good morning and welcome back to my channel it's been a bit because my camera was away getting fixed and now it's fixed so now i can vlog again but hello welcome back my name is jasmine rosette um this weekly vlog is going to be a little bit different i am it's pretty much like what time is it right now it's like 10 o'clock this morning I had a doctor's appointment this morning, an ophthalmology appointment because I have some issues going on with my eyes. So got those checked out this morning, which is good. And then, so I have the morning off and then I am taking the rest of the week off starting Thursday. So I'll be working rest of the today and Tuesday and Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, I just decided to take off because exciting news, your girl is moving. Um, I'm moving, I'm getting a roommate, I'm downsizing as well because this, I'm moving into their condo and they have like a living room set. They basically have all the furniture and so I really just need to furnish my room. They also had the option for me to, they also had the option to furnish my room but I was like, I'm okay, I have all the stuff uh, for my room. So at the end of this week, I'm just gonna like prioritize trying to get rid of some stuff because in a month I'm gonna be moving and I just wanna like get the ball rolling and I just need time to get it done. So I need an extra long weekend to start listing things, selling things, donating things, getting my apartment organized and also to start packing. Another thing is that I am also studying for my project management certification. So I need to like prioritize that because this month I really want to finish the online course that I registered in. And then next month I just want to prep and like take a bunch of practice exams. And then the third month I want to take the exam. So I'm trying to give myself time to do that. And I feel like this week will be a good week to do that because I have some time off. But yeah, that is the plan um, for this week is to move, do some work a little bit, uh, not move, but like prep to move, do some work, and then also take my project management course. But this morning, because I had my ophthalmology appointment and I worked out already, I am going to finish watching the recent uh, season of Demon Slayer. I'm on the very last episode of the recent season and I'm also behind on this show like I haven't it's been out for a while same thing for Jujutsu Kaisen I have not seen the recent season for Jujutsu Kaisen and I am there are changes that I know are happening because spoilers got leaked on uh Instagram on social media so I'm like I can't avoid those but yeah I'm going to watch the last episode of Demon Slayer finish eating my breakfast and then start work for the day Should we get her to a doctor? It's times like this I wish I could use reverse cursed energy like Shoko can. Yeah, that's impossible. I can't. Maybe I'm a rock star. All right, I just picked up my prescription. Got both of them in. And I got some water because the water in my water bottle was bad. So I needed, <laughs> needed to buy some water because I have been really bad at hydrating the past couple days. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I started the 75 hard challenge again. And I finished at the end of this month. So I really want to finish strong. All right, let's go home I ended up let's see I ended up finishing the last episode of Demon Slayer and 
there's no more episodes after this, which I'm a little sad by, but wow. I'm finished with the Demon Slayer series, which is insane. And get to continue watching Jujutsu Kaisen. But I'm gonna head back home, finish some work for the day. But y'all, I'm just feeling super thankful, like for the life that I live and for the season of life that I'm in and just the job that I have and being able to like take care of myself and go to the doctor, all the different types of doctors, get checked in, get healthcare. I know in America, it's like our healthcare system is not that great, but at the same time, once you are able to find a pretty good provider, it, it definitely is a game changer, I would say. And I think I can attest that to just like talking to people in my community about like, hey, I'm doing this thing with my eye. Do you have an eye doctor that you go to or an ophthalmologist or an optometrist? All these different types of things. And then being like, yeah, let me refer you. And um, I'm getting, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to a chiropractor in Golden. Um, the name of the place is Body and Balance and they do network spine analysis. So it's very gentle adjustments. They're not cracking your back. And it's basically just spine manipulation, which is really nice um, because my spine is effed and I need it corrected because it's affecting um, the rest of my body in a very negative way. And I'm just trying to get my body in balance as apt as the name is so yeah I'm I'm just feeling really thankful that I can like even be able to afford that treatment and to be able to take care of my body because a few years ago I was not in this position to be able to afford that and now I am and I'm just extremely grateful God is just so good I'm so beyond thankful for this um, job that I have and the fact that I can afford the health care that I have um, and take care of myself. Granted, it'd be nice if healthcare was absolutely free, but that's just not the reality. Anyways, I'm going to head home, finish out the rest of my day, and possibly go on a walk tomorrow or tonight.
I'm not that bright, so sometimes I don't know what the right way is. So whenever I'm at a loss, I think to myself, what would Nanami do in this situation? All right, so I am currently hold on. So I just got off a call because we are doing on call for one of our clients. Um, and we just like went through that whole training. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, shoot. Give me one set, Grant. Set now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Talk Bye. to you later. Bye. Okay. So, yeah, just had a quick training on how to do on call for one of our clients. And now I'm going to basically continue writing a script for this said client that affects the microservice, which I'm a little nervy about, but it's fine. It's going to be great. And then I have a meeting in like an hour and 25 minutes with that said client. So this client just gets a lot of FaceTime today. <laughs> Although I'm not like they're not really getting FaceTime with me. I'm just working a lot in their account because we have updates that we're making to their account but anyways after this i'm going to pilates which i'm really excited about um i'm going to pilates for a couple weeks now and it's been really really good and i'm noticing a difference of just like my core strength i'm just trying to focus on my glucose levels that's like the the one thing that i'm trying to get under control and then i feel like once i get my glucose levels in a better spot, then like I'll really notice a lot of change in my body. But today's technically day one of really, excuse me, getting my glucose levels under control because yeah, I had like my sweet treats yesterday, the last of them. And then today is just like, okay, um, we start afresh. And if you want a sweet treat, you need to have fresh fruit or like, you know, save it for the weekend, not make it part of your grocery haul, but make it part of like you going out to eat type of thing. That's what I'm really trying to focus on. And I feel like that's really going to help my glucose levels because I think that's like, that's the main thing as you get older, you just got to take care of yourself. But anyways, I'm going to continue working. And then I'm going to see if I can bring y'all to Pilates with me. I get a little nervous blogging in public, but we'll see how it goes. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday, right? Oh, yeah, it is Wednesday. Okay, it is Wednesday. Um, today's the last day of work for the week, and then I'm off the rest of the week, which I'm really excited about. I'm also a bonnet girly now. I got this one at Walmart. So in case you're wondering, but it, yeah, it's like massive, which is great because I have a lot of hair and um, especially if you have braids, it's nice to have like pretty large bonnets. Um, but yeah, got this one from Walmart, but good morning, babes. Uh, I'm really excited. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Um, this morning, I'm going to eat breakfast kind of early because I'm going to Pilates this morning. Um, so yeah, I went last night and then I decided I would go this morning. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of like my routine. 
um, I'm trying to go like two to three times a week. At least three times a week. I feel like that's been a really good thing for me. But last night we did a new sequence for Pilates and oh my gosh, it was so hard. <laughs> Well, it wasn't that hard, but there was parts of it that I was like, I'm dying. <laughs> I cannot do. So, yeah, I feel like I'm getting better at it, but it's just definitely going to take some time. I feel like in six months, I should be able to go through the whole class and not take a break. But if it takes a year, it takes a year. But I'm hoping at six months, I should be able to get through the whole class and not have to take a break. Um, between any any of the sets, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to make myself some breakfast and then start work a little bit early this morning since I have a Pilates class this morning. I have no calls this morning, so I just try to get my Pilates classes in when I can because my schedule is one where I can set my own hours, which is really nice. And because of that, uh, if I have free time in the morning and I can take class in the morning, I'll do it. And then I can just like work a little bit later into the afternoon, evening. But it's not like I need to do that super late today. But yeah, that's the plan. And then tomorrow and Friday, I will be off. And I plan on just getting this place ready to like start selling items and also continue on with my PM course. So I'm gonna make breakfast now and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I, <laughs> let's see, I can't see. I am heading to Pilates now and then when I get back, I'm gonna get some work done. But yeah, this morning I thought, oh, I would, you know, get up early, eat my breakfast, do some work. No, no, no. I ate my breakfast, watched some Jujutsu Kaisen, <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, I gotta go. My class is gonna start very soon. Um, so I need to like head over. Ooh, I really hope I did not kill my plant. I'm a little worried. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm just going to work when I get back. But oh my gosh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, so violent. <laughs> I'm not really good with violence. I would say I'm also not good with gore. And just like the amount that's happening in this season is like, it's just intense. Okay, I'm gonna wa I'm gonna water my peace lily. Peace lilies are known to be hella dramatic, so I'm gonna water that real quickly, and then head to Pilates. I just got back from Pilates. The one thing I think, I mean, there's many things I like about Pilates, but one thing I love about Pilates is that. I can go to the gym in sandals or like Birkenstocks more <laughs> more often than not and not have to go in my sneakers, which is very comfortable. And then I just walk out in my Birkenstocks. So that's a nice little perk, but also I'm really excited to see the progress that I'm going to make within like six months to a year of taking this like class Pilates workout style um because yeah it's definitely strengthening my core but oh my gosh is it hard it's like it's all body movements like we're not using weights we're not using equipment we're just on the mat and doing like these small movements that are like pulsing repetitively and oh my gosh, is it hard. Anyways, I'm gonna get changed and start my work day because it is about to be 11 o'clock.
while I wait for my chicken sausage to get warmed up so I can have it with the rest of my salad, y'all, that Pilates class, I am so sore. Like my legs, even just sitting down at my desk, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. <laughs> my legs are killing me. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I, oh, my bird friend is back. He's so cute. Anyways, I, uh, I feel like today's class, I really tried to have good form even if I couldn't hold the poses or do the entire set completely, I tried improving my form. And I feel like because of that, I am so sore, <laughs> like immediately sore, but I'm feeling good. I do feel good about being sore because I do like being sore. Um, because it makes me feel like I, I did the work. I worked out hard. Even though it's like, Pilates is very hard. But I also feel like it's gentle at the same time on your body. Like, it's not an extraneous exercise that you're doing the entire time. You're not doing a HIIT workout. I feel like it's pretty gentle. And it's of, like, all ages that are in there. Like... There are people who are retired, there are people who are younger than me, there are people who are a little bit older than me, same age as me, like all different age ranges um, and shapes and sizes of people from all different backgrounds that are in this class. So it's really cool to see like a diverse community of people of what the world actually looks like in this class because yeah, anyways. I've rambled on enough. Hello. It is currently 10:15 and I finished work at like 9:30, which is bad, I know. I'm getting better at it, but this hasn't happened for a really long time where I've worked late at night. Um I think it's like the first of the quarter. So and I've been really good about like not working super late, but I got all my work done. So everything is in UAT for this client, which is exciting. So all they have to do is test it. Hopefully everything goes through. If not, I'll make adjustments next week when I'm in office. But at least for the remainder of the week, I truly am off. Like my computer is turned off. I'm trying to have really good boundaries with work. And so, yeah. I definitely, the reason why I work till 9.30 is because I procrastinated a little bit this morning. So, and I had like a lot to do. But I was like, it's fine. It's not like I'm really doing a lot tonight anyway. So yeah, I'm going to now read Crescent City 3. I need to finish reading that book. And then go to bed because it is late. And I want to get up in the morning and go work out quickly and then head to a coffee shop if possible and do my PM course, edit a video, and then come back to the apartment and start packing up stuff and listing things to be sold online. So I will check in with y'all in the morning. Hopefully all of that goes to plan for Thursday, but I'm so excited for a four day weekend. Like truly, it feels like like a holiday break, like a school break is happening right now.
having a matcha latte and I added the flavor horchata. It's muy bien, muy delicioso. It's at this place called Drip. It's a coffee shop in like close to downtown, but it's like a ministry as well. So it's Christian and it has like Jesus loves you in like different spaces. It's really cute, but yeah. Yeah, I'll take you when you come here next. Okay, change of plans. I am not getting my apartment ready, but I at least have tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday to do that. But I'm going to my friend's house in the mountains. Um, I got invited up and so I was like, you know what? Live a little, why not? So I'm gonna head up there and then we're probably gonna grab dinner. Um, they live near Georgetown and Silver Plume, so that's the like area that they live in. So that's what I'm gonna go do. heading to Pilates this morning. So I need to fill up my water bottle real quick. It's funny, when I was out yesterday at that restaurant with my friends, I got complimented on my water bottle. <laughs> I think I was just talking about this yesterday with y'all, how it's a really good water bottle. I really like it, and there's a straw inside. You can kind of see, and the mouthpiece is like pretty big. And then you have this little thing that helps to open up the top. So, it's really great. Okay, just got back from the gym. I need to wash my hands actually, because I ordered a bacon, egg, and avocado bagel. Got my green juice. I'm gonna watch Jujutsu Kaisen as I have my bagel. Bacon, egg, and avocado. on a plain bagel. Mm. So the plan for today is one, I need to do three hours minimum of PM work. So take my online course for at least three hours. And then after that, well, it doesn't need to go in that specific order, but I need to do that. I also need to edit a video. And then last thing I need to do is start packing up majority of my closet and my books on my shelf. So I'm going to try to get like a lot of my living room packed and into my closet and ready to go 
and I think I'll also do my DVDs. That shouldn't take me long at all. And I think that's all I'll do today. I did confirm that I'm getting my place cleaned um, professionally. Um, I have a friend from church who comes by, not comes by. I have a friend from church who has a person who cleans her house. And so I asked for their contact and was like, hey, can you clean apartments? It's just a one bedroom, one bath. And so she gave me her uh, rates and told me how much she would charge. And um, yeah, so I feel pretty good about it. It shouldn't hopefully take too long. Um, but yeah, I, at least I have like an estimate of how much that's going to cost. So I'm going to make sure I have the cash out for her. But that's not for another month, so I'm good for right now. But at least I have that booked. But yeah, I'm just going to pack up majority of my living room and then my closet as well, at least my winter items. Try to like get those out. Same thing with my drawers. Try to get the winter clothes out. And then I think once I've done that, that's all I'll do today. Just because I don't want to get overwhelmed with packing and also I have a month I have time and I think this weekend as well I'll do more but that's my plan today but I'm currently watching Jujutsu Kaisen uh, I'm on season 2 episode 38 called Fluctuations with Mei Mei and Wee Wee so yeah that's that's what I'm doing it only applies to your current wounds so if you get hit again but I don't think it's been very long her chances for survival aren't zero. I'm taking her with me. Welcome back, brother. So I have packed quite a few things. The bins you're going to see are empty. They don't really have anything in them yet. But I'll show you this. So the DVDs that were in here are all gone. All the books that were on here are all packed away. And then I had some little trinkets over here and I kind of just put them there. Um, and so yeah, those DVDs, books and stuff are packed in here. I emptied out this section. I am getting rid of these two. I'm gonna sell these. And here are all of my winter clothes. So. It looks more intense than it actually is, but I'm just going to put all of this stuff in here and then possibly in here. And then I'm going to try to empty out the rest of this um, stuff that I know I don't need at this moment. So there's a lot of shirts in here that I don't wear and shorts and stuff like that. So I'm just going to try to like downsize as much as possible and pack it away in these two suitcases along with all of my winter fall items y'all i almost got scammed if someone messages you and says hey i've gotten like fake listings before i just need to verify it's you send me your number and when i send you a code send it back to me don't send the code otherwise you're gonna have to do this like google voice reclaim or it's like Google Voice regain because then they can like take your information and whatever. But oh my gosh, I just went through that and I can't believe I just like I sent the code without thinking and I was like, oh, I should probably like do that for other people. And then as soon as I sent that, I like looked it up online on like how to do it. It was like, this is a scam. And I was like, shoot. So immediately went to Google Voice dot regain, got my phone number back, removed it, and yeah, that was like my heart was pounding. But oh my gosh, that was crazy. But I've already sold one item, so that's good. I'm glad that I've sold one item. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can like get rid of one thing. But oh my gosh, that was crazy. 
absolutely insane that that happened but at least they're picking up the item tomorrow someone else it's like a different person who bought a different item but yeah i like i was looking through the profile too and i was like well i don't really see anything i just see that they like set up their account this year and i was like oh, i'll just go with it it's fine should have just trusted my gut should have listened to my instincts but yeah, I never thought I would be someone who'd almost get scammed. Glad it wasn't like super serious, but I like changed all my passwords and was like, I'm just a little freaked out. So <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go out for a walk anymore. I don't even know if I want to go to H Mart anymore. I'm just like, it was such a jarring experience and freaked me out because I'm just like, I don't have a lot. And you're trying to scam little me? Yo. Crazy. Crazy. I'm just so shook. Like, I'm sweating right now. Like, I am drenched in sweat. You can't see it. I'm not going to show you my clothes because it's drenched in sweat. But oh my gosh, that was so nerve wracking. Like, I can't believe that happened. But I did the Google Voice.Regain, so hopefully that resolves it and I don't have to go through that again. But now I know. Now I know. Like, check the profiles thoroughly and make sure they are a real person because there's so many people who are, like, just not real people. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, that scared me. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think what I'll do is just try to clean off the coffee table and the TV console, just so I can get those items like ready to be posted and listed. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And then I'm going to edit and do my online course right now after I finish, I'm like about to be finished with Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm on episode 45. So I have two more episodes to watch and I'm a little confused, but that's fine. Anyways, I just got too spooked. So I'm not going to go for a walk. I'm not going to go to H Mart. I'm just going to eat at home and edit, work on my PMP certification and go about my business. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day or night wherever you are. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video and comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!